Glue Mesh Core is a brand new product from Solo that aims at simplifying running a service mesh. We took all of the knowledge and expertise that we've gained over the last few years from helping several Fortune 500 companies build large scale service mesh deployments, and we built those insights directly into Glue Mesh Core. Uh, Glue Mesh Core plugs into your existing Istio environments and offers SLA backed support, intuitive lifecycle management functionalities, and enhanced observability features. But best of all, it offers deep insights into exactly how your service mesh is performing, the best practices that you are or aren't using in your configuration, and security analysis. The end result is it reduces your risk and your OPEX costs as well as it improves your mean time of resolution. So let's take a look. So I have the Glue Mesh Core Management Server component running on a Kubernetes cluster. It exposes a dashboard and provides a single pane glass view of how my service mesh is doing across one or many clusters. We'll start by registering a cluster that already has open source Istio and several workloads running on it. And I can do that using Mesh Cuddle or Helm. Um, and what this will do is it will deploy an agent on, a, on this workload cluster that communicates back to the management plane. So in a few moments, you should see the dashboard that provides a holistic view of the entire environment. I can quickly see the Istio revisions, the, the versions in, that I have installed in the cluster. Uh, Glue Mesh Core will also show me any CVEs that are associated with each one of these releases. And I can upgrade these versions to the solo provided hardened enterprise builds of Istio later on. This insights section brings to my attention any errors in my configuration, any best practices that I'm not following, as well as metrics driven insights into how exactly my control plane and my data plane are doing. So let's take a look at some. The error section shows that one of my revision control plane is not actually running. The second error shows that one of my proxies is not actively connected to a control plane. So this often happens after an upgrade when you've upgraded the control plane to a new revision, but you've forgotten to upgrade all of the one or many of your of your sidecars, which can result in a dangerous problem of having stale and orphan sidecars. In the warning section, uh, we can see warnings around configurations and things that are not best practices. So, for example, this insight shows that my developers are creating virtual services that are globally scoped which can cause performance problem, but it also causes dangerous conflicts while with other developers and other namespaces creating configuration. Another warning shows that one of my namespaces has multiple injection labels. That can lead to the wrong control plane being used and cause major upgrades down the line, especially after an upgrade. And then finally, Glue Mesh is looking at the metrics that are emitted by Istio, the control plane and the data plane to determine that Istio is not performing well. We're seeing high push times to the sidecar. So this can result in stale configuration and potentially errors in the network. The info section, you can see things around general hygiene and best practices. So for example, you can see that I have a lot of namespaces that are not yet participating in the mesh. And also, I can see insights about port definitions that I'm not defining in my services. So Istio is having to resort to protocol sniffing to be able to do that. And that is unreliable. We've often seen intermittent problems that our customers report because of, of not specifying the port name according to convention. So back in the dashboard, the certificate expiry section shows information about root and intermediate certificates that are being used by the Istio CA. You know, so I have enough time to upgrade, but most organizations need to know this information so they can plan out and roll out an update accordingly. We've seen a lot of customers forget to do this and cause an environment-wide outage. 
Down at the bottom, I can see how many of my total services in this cluster are participating in the mesh. I can also see if they're using the sidecar model or ambient model of Istio. So workloads can now choose either a sidecar model or ambient model, or, or you can have some of both. So this, in, this section will help me keep track of my general migration to the mesh, as well as migration from sidecar to ambient if I choose. The FIPS section shows if my Istio control plane and my sidecars are using FIPS compliant modules. So Solo provides Istio images that are FIPS compliant, so this is something that I can easily switch to. Zero Trust. Establishing a zero trust posture is a critical need for most organizations. In this section, you can inspect and track the status of your, your security posture across all of your clusters. So what it's doing, it inspects metrics from the data plane and determines what percentage of the traffic is being encrypted by Istio. The graph component, GlueMesh Core uses open telemetry to collect metrics from all the clusters. Um, it can integrate with various backends and show a service graph. So this provides a view of exactly how traffic is flowing in your mesh and across multiple clusters that are in the mesh. Finally, GlueMesh Core provides a central way to install and upgrade your Istio across many clusters. So to show this functionality, we'll add a brand new fresh cluster that doesn't have Istio that is not part of GlueMesh Core. The first thing I'll do is I'll register this cluster to my GlueMesh Core management plane, just like I did with the first cluster. Then I'll have GlueMesh Core install Istio for me. So I'll create this Istio Lifecycle Manager config that specifies what Istio version and, and hub I want to use and what profile. And I'll apply this to the management plane, which will then go and install Istio on the cluster for me. So now if we go back to the dashboard, you can see my second cluster. Uh, managed entirely by GlueMesh. The Istio deployment is managed entirely by GlueMesh, and I can start seeing um, insights around the configuration and the workloads uh, on that cluster. All right, so GlueMesh Core, it protects users from making expensive configuration and security mistakes. It, um, it aims at simplifying Istio's adoption, and it makes it a breeze to run Istio across multiple clusters. Um, contact us on our website or Slack to schedule a demo and test drive GlueMesh Core. Thank you.